Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our coral count today and we're gonna be doing it by 10 cents. Remember, 10 cents is a dime. 10 cents is a dime. So this is our coral count for today. Just follow along with me as I go ahead and write down the coral count. Okay, boys and girls, that's very important that as I'm doing it, you're also following along with me. So I start with 10 cents. 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents. What comes after 90 cents? A dollar. We're gonna do a dollar ten, a dollar and ten cents, a dollar and twenty cents, a dollar and thirty cents, a dollar and forty cents, a dollar and fifty cents. And I'm gonna stop at a dollar and sixty cents. I don't know if you've noticed that when I'm doing the coral counts, after I hit a dollar, I say one dollar and ten cents, one dollar and twenty cents, because this decimal point in money we say and. Okay, so that's one thing that I wanted to point out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do coral count again, and then we're gonna talk about well, what patterns do we see? Okay. So 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, $1. $1.10, $1.20, $1.30, $1.40, $1.50, $1.60. $1 $1 $1 $1 so some of you are thinking, yeah, Ms. Cardenas, this is the same thing as counting by tens. And you're right, because a dime is 10 cents. So let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. That's the same pattern, boys and girls. You're correct. Counting by tens. Okay? Now, the thing that I'm going to add here is, just like we did for the quarters, just what we did for the nickels, we're going to see one dime is 10 cents. So two dimes is 20 cents, three dimes is 30 cents, four dimes is 40 cents. So then let's look at the pattern, four, so how many dimes for 50 cents? Correct, five dimes. How many dimes for 60 cents? If you said six, you're right. How many dimes for 70 cents? If you said seven, you're correct. So now, I'm just gonna go by pattern, right? Because just like in the nickel, we're adding one to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna put that. Nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? So let's focus on a dollar. How many dimes equals a dollar? Right there, 10, very good. So if I see a pattern here, 11, 12, how many dimes is the same as $1.30? 13 dimes. And what's after 13? 14. What's after 14? 15. What's after 15? 16. So see boys and girls, we have a pattern. We have a pattern when we, when we go ahead and we do a coral count with dimes is the same as counting by tens. Why? Because one dime is the same as 10 cents. So we're counting by tens. Are there any other patterns that you're seeing? So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Let's take a look to see what we see. So when we go to the right, it increases by 10. Okay, that's one dime, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, right? Now let's look down, let's look down. So here I have 10, 
then I have 50 cents, then I have 90 cents, then I have $1.30. So let's see, what is it increased by? When we look down, so if I go from 10 cents to 50, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, it increases by 40 cents. Let's see if that pattern Let's see if that pattern is true when we go from 50 cents to 90. It should increase by 40 cents. Let's see. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Does, that, do, does our pattern check? It sure does. So a pattern is only true if it works, right? For all of these. So let's try here. It should be increased by 40 cents. Let's see. It, we have 20. And if we add 40 cents, is it gonna give us 60? Let's see, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Does the pattern check? Yes. So going down, our pattern is, it increases by 40 cents. So I want you to take a look at this and I want you to see what other patterns we might see. Okay, so that was a pattern for going down. Okay, now here, I didn't do the next number. But this is what I want you to do. In your math journals, I want you to record, write down the four that are gonna follow. Okay, so let me go over what I want you to do. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and coral count to yourselves. And then I want you in your math journal, I want you to go ahead and put the four numbers that are gonna go in these boxes. And not only do I want you to put the money, but I want you to put also the pattern with the dimes, okay? And then the next time, okay, that we check in, um, I want you to take it out and I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna see if we were correct or we weren't correct. Okay, boys and girls, so again, today we were going over coral counts. We went over coral counts with dimes with 10 cents and um, we looked at money and then the next time that um, we see each other, we're going to see if our coral count is correct. Okay, so see you next time.